Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Clark is here. Still cute. My name is Paige, I'm a TEFL teacher and I travel and today I'm going to do a video about the second step in the process for applying to Zebra English. I made a video about the entire application process and the qualifications, so if you watch that, you know that step two is to make a short five minute video sort of introducing yourself and doing a small teaching demonstration on a class about sports. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick run through of the sports demo for Zebra English. Zebra English. It's a five minute video and the first minute-ish of the video should be a self-introduction. You can say hello, talk about your qualifications and experience. And this part is for the ZE staff, so you don't have to teach during this part. You can just talk about your bachelor's, your TEFL, where you're from, any experience you have. Um, if you don't have any experiences and this is the first time you're applying to be a TEFL teacher or teach online, uh, I know when I applied I held up some props and I said I have props and my ethernet cable and I said I have wireless internet connection or a wired internet connection if it's necessary. So you can just add in some little things like that and just say hello and introduce yourself. The idea of the five minute introduction video upload with the sports demo is to streamline the application process for Zebra English. So step one was the basic info and then they send you these materials for this video and really they just want to uh, get to know you a little bit more and see your style and the way you speak a little bit more before they invite you for a full interview. So again, it's really important to look over the materials go through step by step and see what they're looking for, have a study session, practice a few times, and prepare and get ready so that you can make a good impression for your application. The first thing that will happen if you are invited to do the sports demo is that you'll get an email from Zebra English. Always look over the emails, always study all the materials they send you. They really give you everything you need to go through the entire application process. So look at all their materials and rubrics and just try to follow it the best that you can. The three things that they will send you in an email are a slides and lesson plan PDF, uh, video instructions, and video tips. The first thing you should look at is the video tips PDF. Uh, it's really easy to understand. It's broken into two columns, red X's, don't do it, green check marks, do it. And it has things like have good lighting, good sound, uh, dress appropriately, and just again to follow all the instructions that Zebra English sends to you. So have a look at the materials, study it, easy breezy. Next you can open up the slides and lesson plan PDF. It will show you the slides for the class and then a teacher's guide telling you exactly um, what to say and do on each slide and I would have a look at that. And then also at the same time in another screen or in another tab, open up the video instructions. So when you're watching the video, you can go back to the slides and there's a teacher in the video who talks about each slide and gives some tips and things to say. And that way you can go back and forth and kind of plan out your teacher talk, think about the things you're gonna say, and that way you can have a nice script ready to go for when you're ready to film the sports demo. Okay, so let's practice the demo. I've got my laptop here sitting open so I can go through the slides. I'm not going to show you guys the slides. You'll see them in the email and I'll tell you what the teacher's guide says for each slide. So the first slide is a title slide and it has a picture of our friend Zach the Zebra with some sporting equipment and the title sports. Simple. So on the first slide, we should greet the student using TPR, ask questions to get to know the student, and ask questions to introduce the topic. And the student will struggle to answer the question, how old are you? Let's do it. It's 
so awkward. <laughs> if you're new at doing this, or you've never done TEFL, or you've never done any teaching before, or you just haven't done anything online, it feels super weird. It feels weird to just pretend to talk to a kid and there's nobody there. Let's just cringe through it together. We can do it. People can do hard things. Dun, da, da, dun. Okay, slide number one. Let's go. Hello! My name is Paige. Can you say hello, Paige? Good. What's your name? You should say I'm Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Elsa. How old are you? Are you three years old? Say no. Are you four years old? Say no. Are you five years old? Yes. You can say I'm five. Good job, Elsa. Yay. Elsa, how are you? And say I'm happy. Yay! Good job, Elsa. Okay, Elsa, are you ready? Say yes. Yes. Let's go. All right. Slide number two. We will teach the student a full sentence. Um, the full sentence is I can play badminton, and it's written under a picture of Zach playing badminton. So on this slide, we should be asking questions to review the sentence, uh, asking an extension question related to the topic, and asking the student to do the TPR. I can play badminton. And for some student issues that they might have, the student will mispronounce the word badminton. The student will respond with a one word answer instead of a full sentence. So we should coach them into speaking a full sentence. So, Slide number two. Okay, Elsa, this time we can say a full sentence. Full sentence. Can you say, I can play badminton? Full sentence. Say, I can play badminton. Look at my mouth. Badminton. Good. Can you say, I can play badminton? Good job. Good job, Elsa. Elsa, look. What is it? Say, I can play badminton. Yay. Good job, Elsa. Woohoo. Slide number three is a presentation. So in Zebra English, we do presentation. I do, we do, you do. So for this slide, first the teacher should do the presentation. Next, we should practice together with the student. And after that, finally, the student should do the presentation by themselves. Um, an issue the student might have and struggle with is saying the sentence during the we do stage of the presentation. So the presentation slide is the sentence, I can play soccer and a picture of Zach kicking a soccer ball. Slide number three. Let's do a presentation. First, I can try. One, two, three. Hello, I'm Paige. I can play soccer. Thank you. You should clap your hands. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Elsa, can you say, I can play soccer? Uh-oh, say, I can play soccer. Yes, can you say, I can play soccer. Yes, good job, Elsa. Woo okay, Elsa, you can do a presentation. Ready? One, two, three, go. You should say, hello, I'm Elsa. You say, I can play. Thank you. Yay! Good job, Elsa! Woo! Good presentation! Yeah! Woo! 
actually do that with my kids. Go you, you're awesome. Good presentation. Slide number four is the conclusion or wrap up slide. And for this slide, we should conclude the main vocabulary and sentence structure with your student, provide positive feedback and encouraging for the learning, and say you look forward to seeing them again. And there are no student issues for this slide, so it's just a nice goodbye, review a little bit, and say see you again. So let's do the final slide, slide number four. Elsa, let's practice. You should say, I can play badminton. Yes. You say, I can play soccer. Yes. All right, Elsa, you did a good job today. Good job, Elsa. Wow. Thank you so much for coming to my class. And I hope to see you again soon. Time to say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. This has been my video about the second step in the Zebra English process, the five-minute sports demo video upload. Um, I hope it's been helpful for you. Some tips, some ideas about things to say. You don't need to say exactly everything I say or do the same TPR as me. So the basic thing to remember is just to check out the materials, uh, go over it, practice a few times, and enjoy, have good energy, and be friendly and personable and professional, and you'll do a great job. <laughs> Apply to Zebra English today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Something. How do I end this video, man? <laughs>